Hey everybody, it's your boy Marcus Norman from Gentleman Style Podcast, your host of the number one podcast coming to you live in America. And this is our double feature, y'all. This was unexpected, but we are here to serve you all today. And I have an incredible entrepreneur. This man is absolutely changing the game for real estate investors all across the board, all across the globe. Stay tuned. You don't want to miss this. Here we go. As your host of the number one podcast coming to you live in America. And today we have an incredible man. Mr. Ashkan is a dynamic entrepreneur whose leadership skills and dedication to teamwork allows him to be a versatile and innovative CEO, touching in multiple facets facets around the entrepreneurial industry. As a remote entrepreneur, though, Mr. Ashkan is currently the CEO founder of three Count them, three successful companies, Top Devs, Spend Hub, and Node Living. Previously running these organizations, Mr. Ashkan led the growth and sale of a former consulting firm. Now, as a partner, the company experienced growth from six million, six million with an M, to over $55 million in revenue in just under three years. His success follows him around everywhere he goes and it just seemed he just cannot be stopped running three companies he continues to rapidly expand and grow ex with extremely and talented people around him mr ashkin is also committed to giving back to his community we can't forget our community through his youtube channel remotepreneurs where he provides not just business but also lifestyle advances for the modern entrepreneur who's building their business through a remote model so Without further ado, coming to the stage, this incredible entrepreneur CEO, Mr. Ashkan, please like, share, and subscribe. Yay! <laughs> what up, what up, Marcus? What up, sir? How are you? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? Fantastic. I can't complain. Thank you for joining us on the Gentleman Style Podcast show. We appreciate you, sir. This is incredible. You are leading the way for entrepreneurs everywhere. And but you are really changing the game, especially in the real estate industry with your company, Remote Entrepreneurs. What is the first off? What is the biggest challenges you faced working remotely? We've all gone through it. Yeah, no, those are excellent questions uh, and a question. Uh, loneliness, man, it is uh, it is a psychological warfare with yourself that I've gone through for 20 plus years now. And only the, I want to say the last five or six years is when I've really mastered uh, what it's like to work remotely. A lot of people uh, just like me, it's normal to struggle with the loneliness aspect of things because you think you're getting all these benefits working remotely, but you don't really see the fruition of what the reality is until you're in it and then it's too late. Um, I would say that's the biggest one, uh, you know, in terms of challenge and solving that, uh, then the, you know, the world's your oyster after that. I mean, it's just about hard work and execution. That's big. That's huge. Right. Um, COVID-19 caught the world by storm and people thought businesses, you know, this organizations thought that the traditional commercial office space was always going to be necessary. That's always going to be needed. Corporate America is never going to go away. Yeah. Now we have shifted to remote everything. Everyone's working from home. Everyone's downsizing the commercial assets and real estates. How can how can remote work be integrated better? What is, what in your experience are the most common mistakes you see people make when initially setting up remote operation? especially in the real estate industry. Yeah, it's uh, especially in real estate too. Um, Cause in real estate, you're so used to visual, like seeing the property, looking at the property, uh, showing it to your client, you know, going and making those face-to-face -face interactions. So it just becomes that much harder uh, on that industry. But structuring your environment for remote success is probably the single point of failure that I've seen 
uh, with a lot of entrepreneurs who don't have a lot of experience, and especially the real estate folks, right? Like uh, most of these folks are independent kind of business owners. And so you don't have access to resources to kind of tell you what to do. Um, so one thing that we do is structuring your environment. You need to take an analysis of your environment and make sure that you control the space. On the channel, Remote Paneurs on YouTube, um, I talk about all this stuff, how to structure your environment. And we're talking about things like, um, you got situations where like you're at home, as a s s simple example, but you know, everyone's, most people are working from home and they don't realize that their fridge is their enemy, right? Cause it's right there, your TV, your bed. I mean, people laugh when I say this, but it's so true. It's like, oh, I'm gonna take a nap for 10 minutes. Oh, I'm gonna go eat something cause I'm hungry. I'm gonna go check on the dog. All these things are distractions to you being focused to move your business forward. So having the ability to control your structure, you guys can see I'm working out of an office. Uh, I'm actually not, I, I, I have two beautiful little kids and, and a beautiful family and a, and a wife. And, and this is part of my structuring your environment is my kids come up to me right now. I'm going to be talking to them. I'm going to be you know playing with them and I'd, I'd rather do that. So there's, you know, it's, it, it, it's a hard thing to do, but if you dedicate yourself to structuring your environment, I, I've, even done videos where I show people like in New York to work out of their closets, right? I know that Ooh. sounds crazy, but yeah, you gotta control your structure because if you don't do that, you're basically setting, setting yourself up for a handicap, so. And and that's huge, right? Um, that's huge and, 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 and that's incredible. I don't know how I could ever fit in my closet and run my entire um, company without visually touching my employees and being there and right. dare I say it, micromanaging, right? Right, 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 yeah. So that's huge. <clears throat> well, you lose the micromanagement aspect of it, right? Because no matter how hard you try, you can't see what the person's doing, right? So a lot of people struggle with that is they're used to that person coming into the office so they can grab them, talk to them and you know, move things forward. But now all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're doing it by text message or Zoom calls, uh, emails, and you don't know where, you know, uh, what's going on. And again, on that channel, I talk about how to hire remotely and what tools to use to kind of overcome a lot of these challenges. Um, it is possible, you know, I'm not here to say, you know, there is a lot of blessings to be able to work remotely and setting up businesses remotely. Uh, you can earn from anywhere. Um, you, you're a lot more efficient. Your earnings per per employee go up, you know, through the roof. And I believe that these companies that are making that shift now and those changes are going to kick everyone's butt. Um, you know, when this thing kind of keeps keeps going the way it is, because they're just structuring their their operations better. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I'm on board. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm on board. You got me. I'm sold. What are some top tools? If my, if I work with you for my real estate, what are some top tools uh, my, I can in, incorporate into my real estate business that your company can assist me with or that you recommend I initiate um, right off the bat? What are some top tools that I can use? Sure. So for a collaboration of tools, everyone knows this company out there, Google, right? Uh, there's a, you know, there's a paid version of Google called G Suite. Um, I highly recommend that. It starts out at about $5 a month. Um, and you definitely should get on that platform. And one of the reasons why is because it just enables a lot of collaboration remotely. You don't have to figure th a lot of these things out. Uh, and the collaboration is, is the key. So having that type of communication medium where you're able to um, use that uh, is, is really important. And I see someone saying, you know, G Suite is confusing. Um, and, and it could be, yeah, it, it totally can be overwhelming. Uh, we 100% get that. Um, but investing in yourself now is the time, right? Because G Suite's not going away, right? We all, I mean, it's not going away. Um, and the people that are going to spend the time to learn it are the ones that are going to excel. Um, we were just talking to another company um, about how to innovate showings, right? And we've got a you know a product where we're building sp specifically for the real estate space for our operations, but we are going to give it away to you know as as a free tool, uh, private virtual tours, right? Where the person can actually view the home with your agent, you as the face of the video, talking to your client privately, and then they're able to, your clients or your prospects are able to respond to the showing uh, with video, right? All private in like a little ecosystem. That's a game changer, right? Because 
Now you don't got to deal with all these COVID forms and sign this and sign that and talk to this owner and make sure they're not home and wear a mask and do this. We've seen our showings go up in Node 250% plus, you know, it's probably not exactly that accurate. I'm probably, um, I'm just spitballing that, but that is going to change a lot of homes being sold, right? And with the access that people have to information now, especially in the private sector of real estate, um, the public no longer is uninformed. They probably know about the listings before you do because they're checking it a lot more than, <laughs> than you are. So they know about the property when it was sold and you know you got Zillow and all these other stuff. So it's no longer about withholding information and being the gatekeeper. It's about providing value and knowledge to your prospective customers. And that's a game changer, right? Because that's how the relationships get formed in real estate. And I'm sure everyone listening to this knows the relationship is, is your business, right? Is how do I connect with people? The simpler you make it for people to connect with you with these kinds of tools, the more professional you're going to look to them, the more calls they're gonna produce from that and the more deals you'll close because your, your, your trust level with them you know, goes up. That's incredible. That's incredible, y'all. Stay tuned, stay engaged. We have the incredible, amazing Mr. Ashkan, remote, remote preneurs, CEO, president, leading the way, and he is spilling the tea. But we got to pay some bills, y'all. We're going <laughs> to a quick commercial break. We will be right, pay right the bills, back. Pay the bills. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I'm Marcus Norman, bringing fresh vibes to hot topics surrounding culture, relationships, business, finance, sex, dating, faith, and everything in between. Whether you're into passive income opportunities, trending topics and useful relationship tips, or dynamic guest speakers, there's something for everyone. You can expect all that and more every week. If you're down with this content, then consider joining our growing community by subscribing to Gentleman Style Podcast and smash the bell to get on our VIP list. Your support means the world. Thanks for watching. Link to my channel. Hey everyone, this is Marcus Norman from Gentleman Style Podcast, your host, the number one podcast. I said that already. We have the incredible, the focus of our attention tonight is Mr. Ashcan, Remote Preneurs XYZ, and he is absolutely changing the game. He just spilled some tea, y'all, earlier. If you missed it, please go back and watch it. But he spilled some tea on how you can take your real estate game to the absolute next level and you can do it safely and still engage and still have that interaction with your clientele and get that property sold. Mr. Ashcan, help us. Lord, help us. What, <laughs> adv <laughs> what advice would you offer to people in the real estate industry and in working remotely? Obviously, work with you, but we're, we're, the concern for me, I'll, I'll share, the concern for me is um, I don't want to catch COVID, but I still want to to touch my client in a safe way and show them the the, the, the real estate property of their dreams. Or on an investor note, I want to invest in the real estate without having to actually go there. So how can remote work help me in those aspects? Yeah, th you know, the investment side of things is going to be tough. And just, just to back up for a minute, um, I'm doing remote preneurs as a service to people that are struggling to work remotely. I don't charge anything for it. I'm not selling courses. Uh, my other companies, I, you know, they're out there publicly. We do different things, really nothing to do with real estate other than Node, which is like a co-living uh, portfolio. But I really just want to help people um, understand the struggles of working remotely. So on the investment side of the property, um, there's a lot you can do to prepare, but you know, there's a reason why they do appraisals right so it's just that that's got to happen um and you're probably going to have to socially distance there but you know when it when it comes to clients and prospecting um remotely the touch points i think will far outweigh the actual 10 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes you spend showing the property right because people now are uh, a lot more educated they're a lot more savvy 
um, and they've seen you know all different kinds of things now. And so it's not just about the showing. It they're really trusting kind of what you're saying to them, and they like you, right? If they don't like you, it's very hard to do business with you. So those touch points again, making it easy. So the reason why I mentioned G Suite is because it allows that communication. Um, I understand there's a, a ramp up, um, uh, ramp up to that, and and all of this leads up to the touch points in real estate. When I used to do, I used to sell real estate, uh, you know, in my twenties. And I remember, you know, I was using top producer, uh, six, I think it was at the time. And this was, you know, I'm dating myself now, but, um, you know, I actually had an envelope folder where every time I would, you know, this was before COVID, you know, sending stuff out, I would, you know, send them a follow up e um, email, then a written letter, uh, then did follow up six weeks later, I had that program. Marcus, it took me three months to learn top producer back in the day, okay? But what ended up happening was when I show up to their house, I already got the listing. It was all of the things that I did leading up to that. So the, the difficulty about being an entrepreneur, especially now with COVID working remotely, it's not like someone's depositing money in your account and saying, Hey man, congratulations. That was awesome stuff. There's no light switch that goes off. The transaction happens, but you don't know it exactly what moment you sealed the deal. If you know what I mean. Right. And so creating that prospect uh, process and that energy to be able to follow that uh, is very, very important, especially in real estate. And you guys are all dealing with the, all the competitive stuff and your mom or your dad won't even list with you. And now you got to have that uncomfortable situation about, you know, why are you not giving the listing to me? But you're going to hear me say this time and time again, set up your stuff, especially from a technology perspective. And if you're behind YouTube, all this stuff will teach you this stuff, but you got to invest in yourself now, guys, if you don't invest in yourself now, you're going to fall behind and other agents are going to eat your lunch. That's true. And that's true. And so uh, it, how customizable is the integration between what I may already have? Do I completely as a realist as, as I'm a real estate agent and or, or a realtor? How easy is it for me to incorporate my software and integrate it into yours? Or is it or do I have to completely leave what I'm doing to come on board with you? Are you talking about the private virtual tours? Yes. Yeah, no, that's going to be a product that we're launching in about two months. So it is a little bit away. Uh, there is no integration required. You'll, you'll sign up on the remote Panors page. Um, you'll get a username and password. You go in and you, you sign up and you, you basically start using it. Um, so it's a standalone product, not meant to um, integrate into anything because of the way we've built it so that anyone can really use it. You'll upload your own video uh, of yourself. Uh, but all the out of the stuff, it's a standalone product. Wow. Wow. I absolutely love that. So, so I, I'm competitive. I'm competitive. I want to blow my competition out of the water. Yep. I, what is it that at work, the remote work can help set me apart from my competition in the industry of real estate? Structuring your environment. And you heard me say this time and time again, people just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they don't do it. So that's, that's one, uh, the technology tools, invest in yourself and then consistency, right? Um, when I started, you know, when I first joined, I was with Remax, uh, up in Toronto, Canada back in the day. And I had the luxury of working in a really high profile office and I would watch what these guys do. And you know, there was really no secret to what they did other than consistency and constantly educating themselves on what's coming down the pipeline. Right. But they were very mindful that I don't sit there for 10 hours a day educating myself because you're going to run out of money. Right. You can only <laughs> at some point you got to start hustling. Right. Uh, so so this is really important that the consistency is there on the backbone of what you're building, because if that's not there, it doesn't really matter what tools you use. It doesn't matter what, um, you know, ambitions you have. The consistency matters. And that's where the structure comes in. If you are working from home, and I can, you know, you're probably gonna get tired of me saying this, if you're working from home, figure out a space that is yours. And I'm not even joking. I, at some point in my career, was working out of a bathroom, out of a closet. 
It just makes a difference. And no one's paying you, no one's congratulating you on the back and saying, great job for doing that, you're gonna make more money. But if you consistently do that, stuff will start to change for you, right? It's just a matter of time. Um, so that would probably be my biggest uh, advice on that on, on, in terms of structuring and the tools, but it's, it's the consistency uh, in the effort. Absolutely. Remain consistent, guys. You heard it here from the expert himself. Remain consistent. Sir, sir, that's incredible knowledge. And, and you hear, you all hear the hustle in him, right? He's been doing this. He has experience. He has the knowledge. So he's speaking um, from experience and wisdom, and he's giving back today on Gentleman Style Podcast. What are the major differences our audience, our listeners, my listeners, your listeners can expect in going fully remote versus a traditional, traditional business model? Uh, the, uh, not being able to control your environment is always key. I keep coming back to that. I'll give you some specific examples now. Hello. Can you hear me now? No, I can't hear you. How about now? Yes, I can hear you now. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Is that, what are we doing? We are relying on the telecom infrastructure to connect us as humans. If I'm sitting in front of you right now, and you're playing with your phone and I can't see because you're out of the camera view, I'm gonna know you're not paying attention to me, right? Can I see that remotely? No, right? And so picking up on these cues is very important in being able to work remotely. So having that ability to control that environment, which is, I always say this, you know, people always are shopping for the best internet price, right? Internet is your business now get the business version. Yes, it costs more. I totally understand. But then you're not sharing the Wi-Fi connection with your kids or your other family members in your house and you're trying to close a deal and that's happening to your yep. audio, right? Like yep. how, how can you do business like that? So people, you know, when we talk to people on, on, you know, real estate deals and stuff, we've got like triple audio checks, you know, we're, we're, there's so much effort that goes into that so that it, we don't, it just seems smooth to the person we're talking to. And we let them say, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry, you know, my internet cut out. I'm sorry this. Because when those things keep happening, you look like the professional. You look like you've adapted. So there's all these things that have nothing to do with your real estate deal that actually do end up impacting your transaction with, with these people. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I got I got to ask. My mind is blown. You <laughs> earlier you said and uh, all of this, all of this magic happens and you give it away for free. I mean, Zoom. Let's talk about Zoom, right? Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Zoom, when the pandemic, the stock market for Zoom skyrocketed because everybody needed to connect, employers needed a way to connect with their employees. But but you're able to and Zoom is expensive. It's expensive. It, and it gets more expensive the longer you go, the yeah. time on board. The bigger and you get. The bigger you get. How is How are you able to do all of the same things and more for free? So that's not entirely accurate. We don't do more than Zoom. Um, so the product I think you're talking about is Connect Hub, uh, which is also available for free. It's exactly like Zoom. But what we did is it does maybe 75% of what Zoom does. But for most of your audience and 99% of small businesses out there, they don't need the 500 person capacity webinar or the 3000 simultaneous connections. They just need to talk to three or four people, man. That's all they need, right? And they don't need to download an app and they don't need to dial into 15 numbers to get access and all this infrastructure and all that stuff. So you pay for that. When you pay $20 a month per license per Zoom, you know, I'm going on the enterprise version now because there's a smaller package to that. You're paying for that. You're paying for all those millions of people that are using 6% of the product portfolio, but paying for 100% of it. So uh, we do that. And um, the reason why we do that is for the reasons I mentioned. I'm really seeing people struggle like big time. They pretend like everything's okay. You know, they'll get up, they'll post on Instagram or Facebook. Life is great. I'm doing amazing. I'm working from home. And the minute that camera turns, they're bawling, crying. Oh my God, how am I going to handle this? Right? That's not reality. Right? So we're trying to talk to people about reality. Like, look, we know you're struggling, right? We know it's hard, but making money has never been easy. I don't care who tells you it's easy. It's not easy, right? It takes sacrifice. Um, and so these tools are just there to empower people 
to do that. At some point, if it gets big enough and like all your audience goes and signs up, we probably will have to charge maybe two or three dollars a month for the whole thing just to pay our Amazon hosting fees because uh, we do pay for that. And you know, I don't have unlimited uh, budgets, but we're not there yet. And if we do, we'll let people know. But we're, it's not a it's not a for profit tool um, that that's out there. Absolutely. And Absolutely. if they sign up for Connect Hub, sorry to just that's that, that that's where behind that we're going to bring those private virtual tours on the same platform. Wow. 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 You all. This is Mr. Ashkan from Remotepreneurs, CEO leading the way and he's giving back and he's sharing with us how we can change our remote virtual work from home game and take our business, take our real estate to the next level. We have one more quick commercial break and we will be right, right back. We are coming. Are you a local business looking to offer your customers easy access to cash without having to travel miles? We're here to help. At Norman Legacy Investments, we provide free ATMs with free installation that provide a suitable investment for your business. Even better, we offer you some profit sharing and handle everything from start to finish. Just reach out to us today to schedule a free consultation. Mr. Ashkin. Sir, we are back. If you are just tuning into the Gentleman Style Podcast, we have the incredible Mr. Ashcan live and direct on the Gentleman Style Podcast show. And sir, what what questions do you feel are 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 really what what's what I feel like there's a story here. What made you dive deep into virtual vir, the virtual business and it's the tech industry and allowing and going remotely? So initially it was the ambition of making hundreds of millions of dollars sitting on my tush on my couch and doing nothing. Uh, and then the reality hit that that is impossible. That won't happen at all. But by then I was doing a lot of things remotely. I was learning. I, I was kind of ahead of the curve. I got good at it. I learned as I was going little tiny things. Um, I just released a video on LinkedIn today on the Apple keyboard. I got people messaging me saying they've closed like seven deals off of that tip. And all it was was text replacement on the Apple keyboard. And you guys can watch it on that channel, Remote Paneurs. Um, it's a three minute clip on a lot of like, you, this, this example of you saying, you know, what made me go remote? How many times a day do you guys type in your email address or your mailing address or your phone number or, hey, how's it going? How are you? I hope this email finds you well. I hope you're doing great. You could do text replacement on the Apple keyboard with two characters and it'll type out the whole thing for you, custom to your own phone, to your own messages, and it goes in the cloud across all your Apple devices if you're an Apple user. And that saves me, I don't know how much time, because a part of that problem is, you know, you got 15, 20 people to email in a day, it becomes type copying and pasting, and then you spell their name wrong and all that. So this kind of stuff really accelerates um, that process. So as I got good at these kind of little things, um, I started making more money. And obviously, you know, you ask, what's my motivation? Well, like every entrepreneur, making money is probably a great motivation. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. Then I got, you know, one company under my belt, then two companies under my belt. And then it's now become, you know, uh, I don't want to sound cocky here, but it's now like a game. It's fun. It's like, I might lose here, but I'm winning here and I'm losing there. And that's when you kind of really know that, you know, you can really enjoy your lifestyle because you're not worried about most of the things are, I mean, of course I worry about business growth and failure and all that stuff like everyone else does, but it's not the same. It's not the same when you've got everything in this like one deal and you got remote people that can do it better than you more efficiently you take in your business. So that's, that's, that, that makes sense. Do you feel after this pandemic is lifted and after this is all over, do you feel, um, people will continue to stay corporate America will continue to stay remote? Hmm. I think that this has accelerated a lot of process changes that companies are now forced to make, but I do think we're humans. We are going to go back to interacting. It's probably never going to be the same in our generation. Um, but it's definitely a need that is going to come back as humans. We, 
we yearn for that, you know, face to face communication, socialization. We can't live as a species just isolated behind a computer all the time. So I definitely think no matter what happens to the economy, it is going to come back in some way, shape or form. That makes sense. What are some books as an entrepreneur? Because real estate and real estate agents, realtors, they're entrepreneurs, they're 1099, they're getting paid com by commission. What are some books, some good reads um, that you recommend they read and pick up? One that's really changed my life uh, what is, is Emotional Intelligence 2.0. Um, understanding the dynamic of who you're talking to emotionally is huge, massive. Um, and I'm sure if all your audiences have been in real estate, they've, they've heard all these you know other stuff with the colors and the green and orange and yellow personalities. And if you haven't, that's also another one. I can't remember the name of the book. Um, I think it was Craig Proctor that came up with it. it was, and I'm going back in time, but um, you know, it's, it, but building on top of that in this generation is the emotional intelligence, what people say to you, how they say it, the tone, the pitch, the words that they use, are they looking at you? Are they off camera on camera? Um, these are all clues into what they're really thinking. When I used to sell real estate, um, you know, when I spoke to like an engineer and their mortgage went up $10, I had to break down the $10 a month increase over the next 20 years and break it down for him that the value of the property versus the $10 he's paying now and sorry, and just really break that down. And if I just treated him like my other client, which was, oh, I don't, I don't even have time to listen to $10. I don't care about this $10. You know, I, my wife wants the house or I want the house and let's do it. That's emotional intelligence. That's understanding that you cannot treat everyone the same. And some of the most successful real estate agents um, that even have teams, emotional intelligence and reading people on, on that is super, super important, um, especially in real estate because it's all emotional. Residential real estate, especially 99% of the time is an emotional purchase, right? They're making it emotionally, right? So if you don't know how to handle those emotions in a professional way and be able to understand where their real pain points are, um, you know, game changer. Uh, I'll give you one quick example if you like. Um, you know, I would show homes and this one client would always come in and, and, and you know, the wife would, would be all quiet and the, the, the husband would say, oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. I don't like this. He, he, every house he would find something wrong with it. Um, and then that was the early days. When I see that now, you know what that tells me? That tells me the husband is nervous about what the wife is thinking. Mm. And so he wants to support her and verbal diarrhea comes out because he has to say something to make him look good. Like he's, you know, protecting the family and he's got, but all he's doing is messing up his own show, right? So when he would, you know, if, if I got that kind of client today and they would say something, I would say, that's a good point from your perspective. You know, what would you think, you know, Miss Stacy or, you know, whatever her, her, her name would be. And she would say, I actually like it. And it's magic how the husband goes. Yeah. Oh no, that's not a big deal. That's just stupid. I can, I can get over that. Right. Right. But right. as a real estate agent, if you don't understand that dynamic right there and you latch onto the husband and you say, yeah, no, that's, that's, um, you're right. You know, the other properties I'm going to show you are going to be a lot better. Ladies and gentlemen, you just added 30 showings to your situation and you just increased to a never ending closing cycle because you didn't know how to handle that emotional intelligent situation of being able to read up on the cues of why those things are happening. So that's just one example. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So tell us what, what happens, what happens when we, when someone signs up and they come on board, can you describe the process and what is their coaching involved? Is there mentoring involved? Is there training involved to utilize this system effectively? Uh, we do have some videos. Uh, there's really no coaching or, or mentoring. Like I said, it's just a kind of a, a platform for me to give back if people want to invest the time to kind of learn that, um, you know, those steps and those processes. Uh, but they can sign up on the website. Uh, we could probably put the links in the description or, or, or whatever. But if they go to remotepreneurs.xyz, um, some of the videos are on there and also connections to the different products, especially Connect Hub. 
Um, there'll be some uh, onboarding videos you can look at, but it's pretty straightforward. It's not a, you know, it's not really a complicated thing. Absolutely. And how long do you think from start to finish will it take me to really get going from start to finish so I can get started with your with the software? Uh, we try to do the signups in under five minutes. Um, so you can sign up for the product, start using it. If you're using Zoom and you're paying for Zoom, it's a no brainer, right? If you're if you're if your calls are going over 40, I was on a call the other day, someone's trying to sell me something. And I'm really interested in their product. And they're rushing me because I realized they're hitting the 40 minute mark on Zoom and they don't have a paid subscription. <laughs> That's terrible. It's terrible. I'm like, God, like, you know, I picked it, but most people wouldn't pick up on that. Most people would just think you're being rude and you're rushing them, right? You don't want to be trying to close a deal and you're talking to your, your clients and your, you know, your time constraints. So if you are paying for Zoom and you are having meetings more than 40 minutes, definitely use Connect Hub. Um, and yeah, we'd love the feedback too. Anything you guys would uh, want to add for feature sets. Absolutely. What is your way? What is your favorite way to give back? To my family, to audience, to, to who? To, to your community. Well, I think remote is, is, is a big, uh, part of what I'm doing. Uh, you know, making sure that I get all the knowledge over to whoever's interested in learning it. Uh, it is a lot of work shooting these videos and com coming up with kind of a pattern of what I'm seeing people struggle with. Uh, I think that's, that's a big thing. Uh, and th that's a big way that I give back. I also donate quite a bit, um, to schools, especially right now. Uh, in my community. So those are probably the two biggest ways I, I give back. I wish I could volunteer and stuff, but unfortunately I run out of time. And you know, my wife always says, you're just making excuses and she's right. And that's fair. But also we got, you got to stay safe. You have to be safe. Absolutely. Yeah. What you're doing is important and it's necessary. So y'all, um, we are out of time <laughs> and it's not because we're on zoom, but we're out of time and we have to give Mr. Ashkan cause he is running multiple business and we got to give him back to his family i could keep you here all night i am not going to do that uh, thank you any last minute nuggets any last minute tips anything i missed anything we didn't ask you um that you want to share no just uh hang in there you know it's uh it's definitely a wild ride and you know the strong will get stronger uh, no matter how bad you may feel that something's not going right for you, just know you're not alone, even though you may be alone in that physical moment. There's a lot of people going through what you're going through and just keep, you know, keep at it. All right. That's Don't true. give up. So true. So thank true. You for so having me. Thank you for being on board and thank you all, my audience tuning in from gentleman style podcast we appreciate you mr ashcan please don't ever quit please don't ever stop grinding we need you we need what you're doing in the community it's absolutely necessary like i always say y'all take care of your friends take care of your families and take care of business this is marcus norman and the ceo president future leader let's say of mr ashcan of remote entrepreneurs x dot xyz leading the charts thank you have thank a you. great day too. Bye.